Hey viewers, and this is Web Design for Law Firms Part 2. And if you missed the first part, please click on the link on the top right. Welcome to the Ready Design One channel. So I'm thinking we have a really big type, but I think we just can have a very strong mission at the top. We use some of this, so Command D, bring it down. I'm going to break out of this. So detach. And what we have to think about is the sections inside okay so if I delete and delete so here we have let's just say we have a basic section and the spacing we want is very generous so let's say 160 and 160 and then to follow this we are gonna say we're going to bring in a T-tool, we're going to say our mission straight away. And here I'm going to do Shift A, bring this into an auto layout. And let's have a think. So this is going to be fill container. And what we also need to do is we are going to put this into an auto layout shift day. We're going to command D. So here we're going to say spacing of 40 and zero. So here we're creating two columns. And this first one, we are actually going to have that a fixed width. So I'm just going to drag it around there. So the number is probably two, three, two. Okay, and then this one, we want that to fill container. Ooh, got that wrong, we want it to be there. This one, we get rid of all the spacing. Great. Same thing for this, we get rid of the spacing. Okay, nice. So here we're going to think of the mission. So, okay, so this is a line from uh, Better Call Saul. I think that's a really nice mission. So here we're going to go DM Serif Display. We're going to go nice and big. How big do we want to go? Let's have a look. So that is pretty big and let's hit enter. We want it to fill container. We are the last line of the fence for the little guy. So that is pretty nice and big. Here I could say 96 as well. What about if we went up to one to eight? It's three lines, is that too big? And what we're also gonna do is these really nice lines so there's so many ways of doing this. So I'm gonna create a divider, much like these lines, and there's different ways of doing this. So I'm gonna Command D that, bring it out. And here, I'm just going to delete this column here. And this one I'll delete as well. We're gonna say, we need that to be a fixed height of one. And we are gonna have that line be dark. but we don't want any padding on the top or the bottom. So we're gonna, we're just gonna call this divider. Okay, we just made that zero. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is also, we're gonna start creating a bunch of different columns. We're not thinking too much about the text we're going to create lots of different columns because we're going to create so many different variants so i'm just going to command that as well bring it over and here we can start combining these so command sure shift a there's no spacing there but we're going to bring this divider so command c bring it in here so we actually want that divider to be 
there. We also want another divider to be after the section. If you're finding value in this video, please gently smash the like button. So now I'm gonna try and create different columns. So just fill that with white. And I want to also Yeah, so fill that with white. Here, I'm just going to very quickly duplicate that section and I want to increase. So now I want to create different versions. So let's think about things like practice areas. So practice areas. How do we want to lay this out? So I'm straight away going to go with a like a one and you don't want to miss the next video as we will look to use images I'm gonna bring this down to let's say 24 we just have 40 or we just go auto for now I'm gonna command it that so now it's already aligning with the grid which is pretty sweet and Now I'm going to move this over there because we're going to be playing around a lot with this area. So I'm going to command D, Oop. command D, and we actually want that to vertically stack, but we want it to hug. And we hit enter, we want it to fill and hug. Okay, great. So I'm just going to delete that one because here I'm going to, I'm going to put in heading but we want that to be in the DM sans. We're also going to have that 18. Or we can mix it up. We can switch. We could say that for heading. That heading, we actually want it to be a bit bigger, 32. And this is going to be the body text. So I'm going to get a plugin, command forward slash lorem. I'm going to say paragraph generate. Okay, great. So here I'm going to say, let's say 24 because it's really long, let's say 32. And the spacing between, let's say 24. So that is really nice. So yeah, you just have to think of different scenarios practice areas it could be a one column so if I command you that you could say this could be two columns so you can see we're building different lots of different variants We could think of a free column layout, command D. So now you've got a free column there. However, it's not lining up perfectly. So let's have a think. So it's okay. So should this be a four column layout? Yeah. So not that easy if you got that there, but I don't think it's that bad. If you want to be precise, we could bring it down like so. And that's 308, okay. This we could also be 308. And this could also be 308. You got some really nice layouts that you can do. So I'm going to command D. So this we can actually change to DM serif. 
uh, DM Sans. I'm going to make that pretty small, let's say 16. Say footer link one. And I'm going to say 16 as well. With line height 24. So, so now I'm just going to command. I'm going to paste these, like, let's just say two, three, four, five. Here we can actually do a spacing here. I'll just say, let's say 32. Let's keep that to solid. Okay, so here, I think that is pretty good. So the way to apply it to everything, I can hit enter and I can just say 16. This one we can actually just highlight that but we want to go zero delete delete so here I'm gonna command D command D nice uh, practice areas here you've got things like case case studies or what was the actual case studies practice areas about okay so that's pretty cool so this one could actually be about practice areas, case studies, the FUTSA, and of course we can introduce another section in here. So the way I'm going to do that is this is a FUTSA. So here we can combine these. So I'll say Shift A, and that will be Fill Container. going to command you that but we want that to stack and we want it to hug so I hit enter I want it to fill and hug great and then the divider yeah we have to think how we're going to do the divider I actually want to bring that divider in there but the way I want the divider to be is we just have to get rid of these because this is like an inline separator. Go here and we say fill container. There we go. Now this one, we could say zero. We could bring the spacing down. So let's say 40 and 40. And then this one here, we go in and we have something here that I want to show. So 100. Here we have the copyright. So copyright 2022, all rights, all rights reserved. But what's happened is it's interfering with the others. So I'm going to delete and delete. And the way I'm going to do this is a bit different. So hit enter. I want to fill container. So now we're going 50 along the way. And here we could just put a list of social links. So just say Twitter, Facebook. You got say follow us we need some more dividers just to separate out the sections so I'm just going to collapse these we only got one divider so command D bring that down command D bring that down command D Bring that down, come on, D, bring that down. Great. One last thing to do is to hide the grid. So what we've done, we kept it very clean and simple. Our mission about we keeping the CTAs here and we got who we are, practice areas, case studies. We got the footer and we have 
some copyright at the bottom. Let me just resize that. So what we can do is start adjusting some of these. Let's say we've got four, four practice areas. So here we can just command D, but we want those to stack. We want them to fill and hug. We hit enter. We want them to fill and hug. So if I zoom out, there's a huge gap. Not sure why there's a huge gap. So we go to section and we go and say, let's say 40. So here, if you actually hide it, it will mess up the whole layout. So I'm just going to hide that because we might have four different practice areas. So here I'll just say one, two, three, and four. And you don't want to miss the next video as we will look to use images.